Back of off for a start. That's a red rag to a bull, that is to me, that a swear box. A little slotty red. Put the most money in the small bowl. You may not touch the small bowl. The small bowl must not sink. Also, you must say your own name at least once every 30 seconds. With pleasure. You have five minutes. The money in the small bowl with the highest total numerical value wins. Your time starts now. Pretty straightforward then, Alex. Coins into the bowl. They must not um, touch the little bowl. They mustn't touch the little they bowl. They must not touch the little bowl. They must not touch the little bowl. <laughs> the little bowl must not sink. Oh. <laughs> it's the highest numerical value. OK, right. so a 50 pence piece is worth 50, a one pound coin is worth one. Yes. All right? Got it. We're going to start with either end of the panel, Sweary Rod and Wary James. Here we go. God, how'd you get into a fucking spare box? 25. So a 50 is worth 50 and a one pound is worth uh, one. OK, they're all foreign coins, I get you. Yeah. 10. 10. Uh, 50. Right, OK. 5, 25. Uh, Rod, Rod Gilbert. James A. Caster. Uh, 20, 20. Is there anything bigger than 20? What, what have we got there? 100! Oh, 100 escudos. James A. Caster. Oh, oh, oh! James A. Caster. Rod Gilbert. 100! Ho, ho, ho! 50! Ho, ho, ho! That's going to go under if I put another one in. Uh, 20. Oh, I can't. Ah, uh, don't you dare! Uh, am I allowed to touch it? No. It's just a small, small book. Hang on a minute. I could touch the big ball. No. Ah! <laughs> How long have I got? Oh, fucking hell. I mean, it sums up how I did on the task, doesn't it? A dead face in a bowl. Rod Gilbert. Done. <laughs> God, I almost went wrong in so many different ways. Playing yourself. Two words, nervous breakdown. Uh, simple as that. Every episode. Yeah. Um, when you're scooping things out... Mm. Well, something delicate. Well, something delicate. Oh, yeah, I've got a delicate situation yeah. here involving a little bowl within water. Yeah. What do you reach for? A skull! Skull! <laughs> The skull has holes in it for the eyes and jawbones. I thought that will drain it as it's coming out. However, I neglected to notice that the skull was slightly bigger than the bowl over there. <laughs> oi, oi. Money. Oh, my word, £20. Buy the best present for the taskmaster. Here is £20. You have ten weeks. Your time starts now. Hmm. I know exactly what to buy that goon. So it doesn't say I have to buy it with the £20, does it? So it could be by the best present for the Taskmaster. As in, like, a Jeep. <laughs> and then here's £20. <laughs> uh, I want you to know now that if any of them have bought me a Jeep, they've definitely won. Uh, yes! Can <laughs> look at Josh's gift next, please? Um, I've felt we've been getting on very well, Greg. Yeah, I think it's gone all right. I thought you'd worry that I'd forget you after this, so... I've got a tattoo. <laughs> well, you could have gift wrapped it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is it really? Is it? Fuck <laughs> me! <laughs> it's impossible to beat. Or is it? Move the water from bucket A to bucket B. I saw this coming a mile away. You must not move the buckets. Most water moved wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts... Not quite this... Y uh, what have I got? A sieve. Is this bucket A? Yes, it is, yeah. It's not a trick. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Why is there a hole in this bag? It was a trick, wasn't it? <laughs> what about the peas? Pardon? What are the peas for? Oh, I thought it might help move the water. No. So we've got to move that water down to that bucket. Yes, please, Paul. Oh, this is horrible. It's moving a bucket of freezing cold water, isn't it? I mean, there's actual bits of ice in here. You've had tremendously bad luck with the weather all series, oh, haven't you? That was, that was the first thing we did. It was like 9 a.m. and it was minus three or something. It was minus five. Minus five. <laughs> and, and the weather for everybody else is perfectly lovely. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. And uh, a wonderful collection of rubbish to help them move the water. Yep, woolly hat, colander, bag of peas and holes, a tray, a string bag, a cellar tape and a coconut. Right. Uh, loads of things that are clearly useless for moving water. These are intelligent people. They won't try and use them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can we now have um, Al's VT, please? Of course we can. Here we go. I'm not allowed to move the bucket, but you are. No, I'm not, unfortunately, because I don't want to. You don't want to? No, it's too cold. Hang on. <laughs> what is, oh, here we go. Bags oh, I got 115 pounds on me. That'll warm you up. Come on. <laughs> Don't run with it, I don't want to spill it. Oh, no, do run with it, we're running out of time. Oh, my God! Mm. Two and a half minutes. Mm. Can I have ten pounds now, please? Yes! Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Thanks, Al. You like the money, don't you? <laughs> you like some money. Yes. I'd not, I'm not going to go... I Put it next to the other bucket. I'm not going to go any further, Al. OK. For £20, pounds, can you lift the other bucket up? Can I have the money? Oh, yeah. Hold the bucket up. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's fantastic. Look at that. Moneybags, oh, Murray. Oh, oh, this I mean... whole series has been like watching how Donald Trump would do things. <laughs> I mean, you have been throwing money around. <laughs> <laughs> that? And it's gross the way he, like, gives it away to you, like, you're a little mouse. It works! It also... <laughs> Listen, as, as, as disgusted as I was by watching um, Al's display of wealth, I am far more disgusted with someone else in this room. <laughs> I wrote down a quote um, from an earlier VT, and it is as follows. Sarah, just so you know, I will not be moving that bucket for anyone. It's almost like you just know I'm poor. How much did Al Murray give you pounds. to break your own rule? 80, 80 pounds. But I'm sort of work experience. So what have you done with what? that 80 pounds? I bought some rounds in the bar and pretended it was my money. Right. <laughs> but it's unacceptable. Why don't you give us 20 quid each? I think if the money's going to go anywhere, it should go to charity, don't you, Rob? No. <laughs> So this is the way I see it. 60 of the 80 pounds will go to charity, 20 pounds will go to Rob Beckett Thank because you. he's obviously got <laughs> he's obviously got problems. <laughs> <laughs> what charity would you like to give the 60 pounds to? Uh, children's or dolphins? Dolphins. dolphins. <laughs> Good luck dolphins. 60 pounds coming your way. I'll pass judgment on the points in a minute, but first there must be an extra penalty for you. Take one of your shoes and socks off. <laughs> One of my really yeah. for the rest of the, the right foot. The right foot. That's the punishment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> Good. This is the way I see it. Al Murray wasn't to know that his ingenious method was uh, contradictory, so I'm not going to penalise him. Thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to award Sarah Pascoe an extra point. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This time we've asked them to bring in for the prize the most cash. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here we go. So whoever has brought in the most cash will get in the first five points of the show. Yes. Whoever wins the episode will bring home the bacon, as in all the cash. OK? Yep. <laughs> Good. Let's start. Hugh, now, I'm presuming that you are ludicrously rich, so you will have brought a vast amount of cash. I've brought, I have brought with me two million Vietnamese dong. <laughs> <laughs> we wow. can see Hugh's Look dong. There it is. How lovely Two. to see your dong blown up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much are Hugh's dongs worth? Well, there's two million dong there. It's worth £72.20. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> £72. Thanks, Hugh, for securing 
last place. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Joe. Yes. I have brought in 250 English sterling pounds. Ooh. Simple as that? Not as simple as that. <laughs> it is in pennies. <laughs> It's a lot of cash. It's a lot of cash. Most cash. It, it weighs... It weighs 89 kilograms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You know, I mean... It's a lot of cash. That's 250 pounds. No. What I was uh, thinking was, why don't I invent my own currency? So I've invented the note and I spent a long time painting it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I've nailed Alex. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've given Greg too much neck, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. How much is it worth? Can you put a price on how happy we are on our massage in our egos, making us feel good about ourselves? We've both got crushingly low self-esteem, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Mel. Now, I'm part of a sort of poker circle uh, with Mary Berry. Yeah. <laughs> Dude with Chalmers. Charmers. Rippon, Angela. Oh, Rippon. <laughs> Nasty <laughs> piece of work. Yeah. I've always carries a blade. Exactly. <laughs> we were having a, a very intense poker circle night. Yeah. I came away with nearly a million pounds of the realm. Check it out, gang. Mm -hmm. It's for real. What? Yeah. A million pounds? Nearly a million. Genuine. Well, the, yeah, the top layer is genuine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The top layer is genuine. <laughs> okay, yeah. And the catch? And then underneath that, there is Monopoly money. <laughs> but it is genuinely £987,000 of Monopoly exactly. money. Exactly. It's 48 board games Thank worth. Thank you. There was also £250. £240 on the top. £240 on the top. £240 on top. Okay, Real that puts money. Uh, just below Joe Lysett's True. poppers. And if she hadn't spent all the money on the Monopoly boards, uh, well, she spent £815.12 pence on the Monopoly sets. <laughs> So what I've done is I brought in a blank check, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to put one p more than whoever is in the lead. <laughs> and just, just yep. win. There's a check. Uh -huh. Yeah, but are you good for it, Lolly? What have you oh, got? Oh yeah. What cash have you got? Well, I'm sitting on two thousand pounds. What do you mean? In cash. What? <laughs> I just thought, just have a backup. I have two so I, I ventured out. Lovely. <laughs> 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 Very strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Does that help you make your mind up? Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> Buy a gift for the Taskmaster. You have 20 weeks. 20 weeks? Oh, it's doable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, 20 quid. I need to buy him something that's gonna please him, anger him, no clues. 20 weeks, 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. I don't... I can spend more than this, can I? Oh, that'd be nice. Or less. <laughs> Whatever you think would please the Taskmaster. Right. 20 quid gift. How well do you know the Taskmaster, Jack? Greg. Never heard of him. We were supposed to socialise together recently, but he uh, said he was working. So maybe I'll get him uh, a diary so he can plan his time better and not let people down at the last minute. <laughs> can I buy him a range of gifts? Yes, he can. Who's mm. <laughs> the thought? Excellent. Well, I'll clear something up straight away before we see the gifts, and that is I was supposed to meet John recently. We were going to go and watch the darts together in January. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I genuinely have a work commitment. I wrote to him, um, profusely <laughs> apologised, and he didn't reply. So <laughs> I am glad that I'm not hanging around with passive-aggressive people like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're not coming across as passive-aggressive, mate. <laughs> You've got one more gift left. Oh, one Catherine. more from Catherine. So, what's your name? Greg. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
have bought you a little square foot of land that entitles you to a lordship, and you are now Lord Greg Davies. Yes! For 20 quid. Yes, it's like this weird loophole because you guys are so weird and all like OBEs, they buy that anyway. It's actually uh, toxic wasteland. <laughs> you know, it's just a way of exploiting your ridiculous system. Properly. <laughs> it's a way of exploiting the ridiculous the system. system in this Your country. Lordship. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!